Hello and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a tip on how you can add emissions to your models in Maya using Arnold 5. And at the same time, I will also show you how you can make use of the color correction node to change the colors of your emissions just in case you are not satisfied with the default colors that it comes with. So for this tutorial, I am going to make use of a model that I downloaded off Mixamo. Mixamo is a website that is currently owned by Adobe. It's a site where you can go and download free models and free animations alike. So the model that I'm going to be making use of is um, more like a talisman or like a warrior. And if you look at how the model is set up, he has these traditional beads on the neck and those beads are what we're going to try and add some emission to just to give some feel of power. For this, what we'll need to do first and foremost is to actually set up our anode which we have done and next I am going to make a new material, attach the normal material that is for the cloth or for the body, the, the normal texture that comes with it, I'm going to attach the same normal textures specifically to the new material that I created and assign it to the necklace. So for the necklace, what I'm going to do next is the same material is what I'm going to drag into the emission slider. And now because I've dragged it into the emission slider, once I turn up the, em once I turn up the emission slider, it begins to glow. But then if you're not comfortable with the color which you have, we can go ahead and add a color correction node. How we're going to add the color correction node is pretty simple. What I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to go ahead, open up the hypergraph one more time, search under utilities and grab out the color correction node. And I'm going to get the out color and plug it into the in color of the color correction node and also get the out color of the color correction node and plug it into the emission. Okay, now once I have that plugged in, I can go ahead and play with the values and see what works for me. Now, if you have um, situations where you have a big variety of colors that you want to go ahead and play with, or maybe there are certain effects that you want to achieve, you can also play around with the utility nodes, the things that are related with the colors and see what works best for you. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and stick with the color correction node. Other things that you can do is you can still, because we already have this assigned, you can go ahead and select the same material and assign it to things like the eye or some other parts of the body. And that's basically how you get to play with this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed on this channel. And also, don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get updates the next time we upload a video. And so far, so good guys. Peace.